11, a community comes together in the name of an innocent six-year-old shot and killed on his way to buy some candy. So far, two people have been arrested. CBS 4's Michelle Gillen joins us live from Miami-Dade Police Headquarters in Doral. Michelle? Well, you can bet the detectives will be working the midnight oil here tonight in an attempt to secure a third suspect in this case. And in the community tonight, there was confidence that this will happen soon. There was also confidence that something greater will come from this tragedy. We got to stand up. Tears stand flowed as pastors, yes. parents, and pray. grandparents shared recollections of a six year old, King Carter, killed just steps from his home. His loved ones never imagining that they would never see this child so full of laughter and smiles alive again. I just went around there the night before and he came downstairs and gave me a hug. I didn't know I was going to be hugging my grandson for the last time. The prayers at this vigil were for the future, for protection of a community, all children here. Gratitude expressed that two suspects in the slaying have been arrested. Anger driving passion tonight as a child's aunt urged, demanded change. And you're a teacher. Yes. So you look into the faces of these children even before they reach this point. Exactly. And I have lost so many of my students, so many have gotten shot. The nine-year-old Jamari Tillman last year was in my classroom when he was shot. The, the girl at Burger King, she's my student, she was shot. Randall Robinson, a 17-year-old, my student was shot. I've lost four family members. At the same time, I wonder where are all these very young people getting the guns? That's my exact question. How do you not know what's in your child's book bag? What's in your child's cell phone? Hugs were shared, no words needed. Condolences to a father. A lot of love in the space. A lot of support. Balloons released to the skies, all eyes looking upward as darkness neared, somehow holding on to hope. You know, there were so many six year olds, seven year olds, eight year olds there tonight looking up at those balloons, looking down at those teddy bears, parents looking at their own children and wondering. How vulnerable are they? How vulnerable are any of us in this community? So many questions remain tonight. Reporting live, Michelle Gillen, back to you. Michelle, thank you very much.